Hi everyone and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. This time we're moving on to the next section and we're going to talk about data structures. In this lecture we're going to discuss what data structures are and we're going to learn about one of them which is the queue. So data structures are pretty obviously, uh, as the name says, ways to store data in a computer program. Different data structures exist because some of them are faster than others or more suitable for some tasks. For example, if you are storing dictionaries words, you might choose a data structure that can order them um, in various ways simultaneously. You'll learn what I mean with this uh, uh, later on, uh, instead of a list that is uh, sequential. So, um, you might order them in a tree instead of in a sequential list. Um, so here is the example data structure, which is not very much a mystery since we know which one we're going to study this lecture. But nevertheless, let's get through it. Elements get appended at the end of the structure and elements get removed from the beginning of the structure. So if you add elements at the end, and things keep adding on at the end, and the first one that got added is the first one that gets removed, then it is like so. We add a new element, then we add another element, then we add another element, another one, another one, another one. And then we start removing them from the beginning. What is this data structure called? Remember, elements get appended at the end and removed from the beginning. And this is quite simply a queue as we know it. When we queue up to do something or we, we get on a queue, we join the end of the queue and the first person of the queue is the first person that got there. So the first one added to the queue and it is also the first to leave the queue. So they leave from the beginning of the queue. So it is a first in, first out sort of queue. And this is a, a common way to refer to this sort of data structures, FIFO. Other common data structures are the stack, the set, and the binary tree. And we will study all of those in this section. Um, in the next video, um, we're going to be looking a bit more detail at the queue. So stick with me and let's go into the next one.